Hi, I'm Chris, uh, and I'm one of the Airfix designers. In the Vulcan project, I uh, was the designer of the, um, the model parts, so the, the 3D part of the, of the product. Um, as other people did the uh, instructions and the box art, but I got to do the, the plastic bits. <laughs> the Vulcan is just such a remarkable aircraft, um, an amazing kind of point of technology uh, in our history. Uh, it's so unique compared to anything else at the time, and still really unique um, even this many years on. Yeah, one of the things I found surprisingly complicated um, in this was actually getting all the panel lines right. And I thought it was normally, you know, relatively simple. You, you can always see examples of the outside of aircraft, but um, because it's just so big, uh, trying to get um, a picture of the whole thing detailed enough to, to is just so hard. Like. You, you see ones of it flying, but those are never hardly ever detailed enough to really see where every little panel line goes. And so it was um, taking lots and lots of pictures and trying to patch them together and figure out where, where one line started and, and where it ended. But uh, I think we got there in the end. So the design, um, the actual design bit took a year. Uh, and then it was another 10 months in, an, in engineering where we, we start the tooling process and, and then go through a series of um, test shots and, and like tweaks and changes to get the model as good as possible. So yeah, a year and 10 months in the end, a long time. I think my favorite part of this kit is actually, um, actually just looking up, turning it upside down and looking up through the uh, like open cockpit access door. So there's like a little ladder that folds down and then you can see another little ladder up inside between the two, uh, there's kind of two floors in the cockpit. Um, it's kind of a really, I, I kind of love this, like the small little details that are hidden away in there, which you can't see from above. Um, but I, I think it looks, it just looks really nice. Yeah, they're great. I love seeing, um, it's always a really special thing as the designer to see uh, somebody uh, sort of, the artistic talent um, to finish one up properly and, and seeing them for the first time all painted and uh, just brings it to life. Um, so it's, it's always exciting and he's obviously very talented and, and it's, it's great to see. I think my uh, favourite is the green, uh, the green and grey. Um, while the white is obviously quite striking, I think green and grey just feels like it has a bit more character to it. I hope um, it may be similar to the thing I enjoy about the finished model, but there's, there's quite a lot of uh, detail in the cockpit for such a small 70 second scale kit, um, which I hope that the, the builder uh, like will enjoy that, because once you've put it all together, you can't see it, see it at all. So I hope it's an enjoyable process, um, because once, once you've put the canopy on it and painted it all, there's such, such tiny little windows that all of that gets lost. But I, for the for the modeler kind of knowing that it's there I, I hopefully will be will be quite fun and, and a nice part of the model one of the things that i enjoyed um i sort of got to put into this model was was quite a lot of uh, like part numbering um or like recognition so that uh, once you cut it off the sprue it's still obvious to know where they go it's mostly around the the four engines uh, and making sure everything you got all the, the parts lined up correctly uh, and all the little kind of um, covers that go around them are, are in the right places because they all look so similar but are very slightly different and you need to make sure they go in the right place. And so they've all got like quite subtle uh, like markings that once, it's, once you put it together, you won't know. Um, but I, I found that quite enjoyable to think through and, and for me making the, the test shots up, uh, it definitely helped. Um, so it's something I'd like to do more in future projects. Yeah, it was an interesting, really interesting one to do, actually really different to most other aircraft, purely because of um, the design of it. This massive delta wing is so unique. Uh, it was a sort of a risk. We took, weren't sure quite how big we could go with any individual part. Like this was a, a slightly new um, area, or at least something we haven't done a lot of. But uh, deciding to do the, the top and bottom wings in just two halves, which is a change from our old kit. Um, which was in three sections. Uh, and we did that to ensure that there was less to clean up and, and that the, the, the one line that you had to do was nicely accessible for sanding. But um, yeah, that I would definitely remember, will remember sort of the, uh, sort of, I don't know, the, the slight, slight risk of, of will, will this mold? Will, will we get it out okay? And, um, and when it came back fine, I was like, oh, that's great. Uh, that was quite satisfying. And yeah, definitely something 
different to this project than most. So it's really exciting that um, the the point when you're when the product like this goes on sale, after all the people's work that have gone into it to create the instructions and some beautiful box art and the decals um, and the plastic uh, sort of parts as well, it's uh, like a culmination of, of, a, of a good few years really uh, to finally being on the shelves. And so it's always exciting when um, people get their hands on it and, and a little bit daunting as well, hopeful that uh, all that work's paid off and that people will, in, will enjoy it. But um, beginning to see uh, our customers built up models of it and reviews of it and what they've thought is, yeah, kind of slightly daunting but really exciting actually and, and to, to uh, hope that our effort has, will pay off in people's enjoyment of it. Thank you.